computer animation tutorial. What we're going to get into in this lesson is creating a character whose head is turning from one side to the other. So um, we'll have to do some different drawings here in order to create this effect. And I've used and attached this uh, tutorial that goes kind of step by step here um, that I found as on a animation blog that really shows and breaks down the steps really nicely. So what we're going to start with is these three first key poses. So we'll have to do three separate drawings here and have the key poses be the character facing one way, character facing in the center, and then the character facing the other way. And so I've kind of gone with a similar sort of like egghead shaped guy for this. And you can feel free to create any kind of shape or character that you would like to. Um, we're going to be using Flip Anim and we would want to be using the beta editor. So let's make sure we click on beta editor here to get going. Oh, come on. I'm not sure why it's not going. Maybe I need to refresh here. Beta? No? I don't know. Not responding. There we go. All right. So first pose. So I'm going to take my pencil tool and use the third size up here and start with my character kind of facing. You can start with the character facing whichever way you'd like. So um, go ahead and try to draw a decent oval. Oops, I kind of scrolled there. Draw your best oval to start. All right. And then we'll go ahead and also draw in the eyes. One starting a little bit closer to the head this way because we want to make sure that the character is kind of looking in this direction to the side. Kind of give them a big nose just because it's a little bit easier for us to identify the turn if the nose is kind of big and it breaks this kind of plane here of this side of the face. Then I'll kind of start out with a smiling expression. And then I'll go ahead and fill these in. Oops. And do a little bit of erasing. I kind of like to up the size when I go in with my eraser. Kind of makes things a little easier. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll go back to my pencil size here. Draw in a quick neck and shoulders. I'm just going to keep it really kind of basic because we will have to do a pretty good amount of drawing in this particular assignment. So there's one key pose. So I'll have to create a new frame now. All right, and then do the middle pose. So still have my pencil size selected. And it's kind of nice that we have this grid, the graph paper grid going here because it does help us make sure that we make this head about the same size as the one we did just before. Although we do kind of want the, um, the head to turn and curve down. So I'm gonna try and make the top of this head pose go a little bit lower. And that wasn't very good. So I'm going to do one more. Let's see. Hopefully I can get it a little closer this time. That's pretty good. Nailed it. Cool. And then maybe I'll take my eraser and just kind of erase this little spot that happened up at the top. All right. I'm going to add some eyes. Again, he's pretty much facing forward this time, so the eyes should be pretty much centered. And I'm going to go ahead and fill again. I get a nose in here. I'll kind of change the nose poking this way now. And another little smile here. Add the neck and the body. And that looks pretty good. All right, and then the third extreme. So we would add one more frame here. And let's do this third extreme. So again, we want this one to go curve back up a little bit. And these should kind of overlap each other. You can see how this one kind of overlapped sort of in the middle. So this next one, we want to make it kind of overlap again, but go up one more notch on the kind of the grid or the graph paper we got going here. Again, it's going to take us a couple tries to get these head shapes right and to match up. That looks pretty good, actually. Could maybe make this a little bit better on this side. Like I said, I like to up the size when it comes to erasing. Just makes it a little bit easier. Let's see if I can close this back up. All right, 
that looks pretty good. And then we'll go in and again the eyes should be closer to this side of the face this time. The second eye will be more in the middle. The nose will kind of make big and stick out a little bit more on this side again. And again I'll go with kind of a smile again. Maybe this time he'll have his smile more open a little bit. Maybe I'll make this go up. So my other character was kind of going from happy to disappointed. Um, so you can make your character kind of change emotion as they turn their head, or you could have them um, stay pretty much the same, but it adds to the effect a little bit if we update or kind of change their emotion changing from one frame to the next. But So my guy's going to go from kind of like okay to pretty psyched. And then I just need to draw in his neck here. Oops, I did not change my pencil back to the right size. And if you feel like adding in more color and filling in more color to yours, you can. I'm just trying to make this move along steadily for the video purposes. But now we can kind of see here we got the uh, faces changing from one side to the other. So if I give this a quick play, you can see the head turn that's happening. You know, and his body moves slightly, but that's okay. All right, so we do need to add in a few more frames here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is add another frame in between these two. All right, and I'm going to try and draw one more face here, and I will add in another one in between these two frames as well. So we should end up with five frames at least. All right, so this frame in between here is going to be a little bit different than the other two. Really going to be the trickiest part is trying to draw these uh, ovals pretty similar and keep them pretty smooth. Really looking forward to, we're going to start next week or maybe the week after into another animation program that's going to give us a little more control over our drawings because as you have probably figured out so far, you don't have a ton of control with our drawing tools here and how we can edit them on flip anim. That looks pretty good. Good enough. I'm going to make these eyes a little bit more centered. Not quite perfectly centered, but a little bit more so. This one I'm going to have an issue with because of the gap. So I'm just going to need to close that. And then this nose I'm going to make kind of come out, but not really go out past the edge of the face. All right, a couple of shoulders. Neckline on a shoulder, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so if I go click between these three, you can see that those three look pretty good as going between. So now I need one more in between this three and four. So number four here will take our pencil again. Oh, look at that oval. Getting better at them as I go here. And going to draw the eyes in. Actually, with these eyes, want to go a little more towards the right side of the face. And if you look at the uh, tutorial that is kind of spelled out step by step, more like a PDF uh, blog kind of post, it really gives you some nice. Uh, frames and drawings to reference. Make this nose kind of go out almost to the edge, but not quite. And here, because he's starting to smile a little bit more, I'll make this mouth just a little bit bigger here to add to that effect. And then go ahead and also add in a neck and some shoulders and the body. Cool. All right, so that's probably looking pretty good and I might be all set. Just some slight tweaking to the time of the frames and I think we'll be good. So you can see I got a pretty good animation here, just five frames of a figure facing one way and turning to face the other way. So like I was saying, I might do a pause here and maybe adjust my times a little bit for my times and my frames. So actually the first frame I'm gonna leave at this 150. The second frame I'm gonna to turn to faster. I wanna make these middle frames 
go quick. So I'm going to adjust the time of these middle frames down a little bit. Now let's see. So now that kind of runs a little bit more smoothly, a little bit quicker. Um, but maybe I want some more pause on this ending frame here. So maybe I'll pull this one up to like 300. So that has a bit of more of a pause at the very end. Okay. And I could do the same with the first frame if I'd like to do the same with the first frame. I could maybe pull this up. Let's see what it looks like if I pull it up to here. Yeah, I think that, that works best. All right, so there we go. Tutorial on how to do an animation head turning. Like I said, utilize this animation for beginners um, info here. This really kind of gives you good breaking down of like your steps and getting them in. So um, take a look at that as it's very, very helpful for me especially and for you guys too is just another way to see and how, how to put together this kind of animation of a head turning from one direction to another. So hope you guys have luck and do nice stuff with uh, this tutorial.